So this is uh, my annual and hopefully not my last trip to go trout fishing and uh, hopefully I continue on my success I had last year. I caught my limit and uh, that was just the time clock I stopped at. And uh, As always, I plan on waking up early and getting out for daylight, but I snoozed my alarm and went back to sleep as is. We've been working a lot, so cut me some slack. But uh, yeah, this is my ride from Marrero to Howell Park. Sure, the truck's locked. All right, let's get to fishing, y'all. Here's the walk up. It's a pretty well parked. Then there's a geocache right down the road. I might try to oh, God, crap. might try to get on the way out. Sign already, y'all. There's a dead one right here. I think that's a trout. What's it? Yeah. He may go home with me. Come here. Yeah, hey, at least I'll have something to try. I'll take him. Alright, so I ain't never really had any luck with these, but I'm gonna try it. This is gonna be my stationary pole. Let me show y'all how I put it on. The whole bunch. So yeah, uh, you take it and you mold it around the hook, like so. A little pink. Come on, get it, Trout. On to the next spot. No luck there. Seen one, but he didn't want what I had. They got this nice little island. I'm gonna put my uh, my bank stick away. This little creek comes out in the main pond and I'm gonna throw my inline spinner around this whole little island maybe I'll hook on some bluegill I'd be happy to shit so this time y'all I'm gonna try a worm you can't go wrong with good old worms I'm not gonna be stingy either I'm gonna put half I ain't bringing with me to keep them I'm going to ball it up and just leave a little bit to wiggle. I'll take a nice size bluegill to go with the one that I caught with my hands. Alright, well, that looks good to you, looks good to me. Hopefully it looks good to a, a rainbow trout bluegill or a bass or a catfish. Hey, it's a fishing video and not a rainbow, uh, and not a skunkaroo. I might keep him to go with that rainbow trout. He's got a good little fillet on him. He or her. 
Thank you, fishy. One caught, one caught by hand. caught a bass <laughs> now need to catch a rainbow trout on hooking line does that count as a catch a turtle time to do surgery either that or he's going to get a new lip ring so there's some stuff i barred up in uh arkansas chum pies i didn't get a chance to use up there because it was so crystal clear but it shows rainbow trout on it catfish bass bluegill sockaway carp i'm gonna try it out maybe it'll chum it into the spot maybe i catch something but they stink Looking at this picture, can you tell what's mine and what's not mine? I'll give y'all a guess. I just ate lunch, so uh, yeah. At least they practice safe sex. So yeah, had me a little lunch, a little laugh. I'm at Palomino Drive Park, and uh, now that I got me two lunchables in, I'm gonna get to fishing. Ain't quite as much pressure here as it was at um Howell Park. So hopefully I catch something. The inline spinner strikes again. What a nice trout. Panther Martin, one eighth ounce, all silver. Well, that's it, folks, for the fishing part of this. Uh, I got about an hour and 40, maybe an hour and a half ride home. I'm going to clean these fish, and then I'm going to do a, a catch, clean, and cook. So, yeah, I didn't jinx myself by saying the CNC. So, yeah, catch all in my row. Over and out from Palomino Park. It was a pretty cool place. I may come back and fish here when uh, springtime comes with the fly rod. It looks perfect for it. All right, over and out. So, it's New Year's Eve, and I'm cleaning rainbow trout. <laughs> Go figure, and it's 80 degrees. And it's 80 degrees here in Louisiana. And the global warming ain't real. While my son was doing this, I was in an open lake uh, catching speckled trout today. We caught 10 today, but up to 10, eight went over 18 inches, and we caught two big reds today. This is my sixth straight day fishing today. We caught speckled trout all week, but we're on a summer pattern because it's just been so warm. Yesterday broke a record. It was 84 degrees, and the old record was like 79, 78, and I think today, New Year's Eve is going to break a record too. The rainbow trout, the rainbow gets lost. This, this one I caught on a MEP spinner. This one, something took a chunk out of him. He was swimming away around and I had to get in the water to get him. So it, I still caught him. And then I caught him on the MEPs too. So, okay. One head down, catfish tape. Ready to go, Santos. Did they oh. have anything? You cut yourself? I feel cuts because I've been sticking my hand in the speckled trout. Do they have anything in there? Nothing. Nothing. Rainbow trout today. All right. And and you want your bass fillet? Um, yeah, and the bass fillet. All right.
Uh, there's one down, y'all. Yeah. Another one. I make a mess in everything I do, whether it's work, life, fishing, whatever. I'm gonna clean it up later. Oh, these some some meaty ones. Let's see who's won in Alabama, Cincinnati. Probably Alabama, if I had to bet my money. Let's see what the score is, y'all. The little bass pieces. Oh, holy smokes. Well, no, no, it's 17 6. So. Let me get rid of the yes. Let's get that going. Got the first batch in. The bass is almost ready. I give it, let's see, it's 502, I'm going to give it to 505. I don't want to burn them. Rainbow trout's a little bit funny. When you're cooking it, the skin comes off of it. Like so, uh, oh, it's getting soft. It's getting good. The bass is good, but we all know bass is good. That ain't no big surprise. A little thing about the rainbow trout, the skin, not so good, but look at pretty white flesh. Look. It's good. Mm -hmm. Swimming today, and my bowling tonight. Alright, let's see. Some New Year's Eve uh, rainbow trout, where the skin comes off. Oh, that tastes a lot better than last year. Oh, it's so white. Good white meat. Left. It falls off the bone, y'all. I think it's redeemed. Well, I'm cooking the other one, then we got some place to go. Like, comment, subscribe, and uh. I'll catch you on the next adventure. Thank you for watching. Oh, also, if you subscribe to me, let me know in the comments what country you're from, because I have some people that aren't from this country, and I'd just like to know. All right.